Hello, my name is Jay McCabe and I'm a commercial banker with Comerica Bank and this is Ask the Banker. In this episode, I'll give you my take on the question, how does Federal Reserve policy affect my loans? With the Fed increasing short-term rates by half a percentage point last week and communicating their intentions to raise rates another half a percentage point at both their June and July meetings, it's appropriate to cover this topic. Before answering the question, I think it's helpful to understand the Fed's primary objectives and the tools they have available. The Fed has two primary objectives. These are to minimize unemployment and control inflation. In other words, the Fed delicately balances between avoiding a recession while at the same time not allowing the economy to overheat. The Fed's primary tool to accomplish this is by raising or lowering short-term interest rates, making it more or less expensive to borrow. Since the 2008 downturn, the Fed has also more aggressively impacted long-term rates by buying and selling longer-term treasury bonds and other debt products, also known as quantitative easing. During the pandemic and in an effort to avoid a recession, the Fed doubled the size of its balance sheet to $8.9 trillion through buying treasury bonds and other debt products. This is up from $4.2 trillion two years earlier. Since interest rates move inversely to bond prices, the Fed can keep rates lower by purchasing treasury bonds and increasing bond prices. The longer term side of the yield curve is also influenced by a myriad of other economic, financial market, and geopolitical factors. To see the relationship between short-term and long-term rates, it's helpful to look at the Treasury bond yield curve. While the Fed has more control over the short-term rates on the left side, it can also influence longer-term rates. When the Fed meets and decides to adjust the Fed funds, short-term rates are immediately impacted. This includes the underlying rates governing all short-term borrowings by companies, such as lines of credit or any other floating rate debt. The Fed's actions to increase short-term rates, combined with adjustments in quantitative easing policy and the market's reaction, impacts longer-term borrowing costs. This includes underlying rates governing longer-term loans, such as for capital equipment, real estate, or any other fixed-rate loans. What I've discussed to this point is the underlying base rate, or the bank's cost of funds. Banks also charge a loan spread on top of the base rate, which represents the bank's margin on the loan. Depending on overall economic conditions, banks may perceive more risk and will seek compensation for that risk in the form of greater loan spreads, thereby further increasing borrowing costs. Regardless of whether rates are increasing or decreasing, it's helpful to work with an experienced relationship manager who can help determine the most appropriate loan products and manage interest rate exposure in a volatile market. I hope you found some value in this video. If you have any questions, please write them in the comments or send me a direct message. My name is Jay McCabe and I'm a commercial banker with Comerica Bank and this is Ask the Banker.